Hey guys, um, first of all, I hope that everybody uh, out there is safe with this virus. And um, now today we are going to do a small video about how uh, finger position firmness change your, the trajectory of your ammo. So if you are already a uh, slingshot shooter, it won't really be something new. Uh, but if you are starting, or maybe you are starting right away with firmness, this could help you uh, to understand and to give you a and one more tool to put in your toolbox. So, I'm going to take a cardboard. I'm going to make a a dark, uh, black uh, dot like this. We're going to shoot. I'm going to explain you right away. Um, in the meantime, I'm doing it. How it's going to work. So we are not go uh, going to uh, look for accuracy today, just height. So first shot, it will be with the fingers very close. Same draw length, same anchor point for all the three shots, okay? Close fingers. Aiming, always taking a reference with my top tube, always in the dark uh, uh, spot, okay? Close fingers. Close fingers, I am here. Look how high. Okay, second shot. Second shot, always aiming with the same spot, but instead to be like this, I'm going to put my thumb 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees. All right, 90 degrees and came down. Now, third shot. Okay, now, third shot. So, first shot, second shot, third shot will be open thumb, even more than 90, okay? Third shot, open thumb, I'm right inside the dark dot. Okay, right here. Right on. So, close fingers, very high trajectory like this, uh, 90 degrees thumb, a little bit closer, open and spot on, uh, point on. So, this can give you a toolbox, a tool to put in your toolbox. So keeping always the same um, draw length, same uh, anchor point, you know that, for example, with this position with close fingers, my, your point on perhaps it will be, I don't know, 19 yards, I'm making numbers. Uh, with 90, perhaps will be uh, 13 uh, yards, 14, who knows. And like this, perhaps will be seven. And, and, and this position will be good from uh, from seven to nine or something like this if you want to really be precise. And using always the same reference point. Otherwise, you can keep always the, your same position, your thumb, you can gap shoot. If you are shooting instinctive, then you don't really care. But if you are using a, a reference or something or a peripheral visual to see the side picture, you can gap shoot like this, go up and down or if you are more inclined to judge the distance and kind of use always the same reference, then you can move your thumb. And you can remember three easy positions your thumb. So close, very close, boom. Close, 90, and more open, more open than you can. This will be very position that you can repeat easily and with, um, with, um, constantly, right? So, this is it. Um, how the finger position will impact your shooting. So instead, here instead of, of staying 90 and going up with my aim, I, I open and I, I stay with my reference more or less here in the air. 
and I eat. Okay? All right, guys. This was the small video. See you next time. Second shot, always in the same hole of the first. Just to confer, confirm that the open thumb is point on. So if you are, you find your reference, you will likely be um, consistent and precise.